Blackburn. Enterprises. Thank you for coming to our channel. You could have been anywhere else, but you're here with me. Back with a new movie review. I'm your boy, JB. And I'm Ken. And today, we're going to be reviewing... Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Yes. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. All right, this movie is directed by a few directors. Yes. <laughs> um, it's directed by, let's see, Joaquin Dos Santos. Okay. Um, Kemp Powers and Justin K. Thompson. Okay. Did they do the last Spider-Man? I'm sure they did. Uh, I have no idea. Okay. I probably should have looked it up beforehand. Uh, so, oh well, let's go ahead and get to those actors and actresses because there's a whole heap of them. So let's go ahead. And uh, so this movie is starring Shameek Moore. Yes. I know him for previous movies such as? He was in Dope. Okay. It was a show, right? Is it a show? It's a movie. Okay. You don't remember Dope? I don't remember Dope. I, I get was bad the, when all my block mixed up. No, my block was a show. Yeah. They all got kids in it. I mean, yeah, they stuff. were teenagers. And, and they yeah. all, like, in New York or Harlem doing stuff. So. No, that was out west. That was out west, I believe, on Dope. Oh. Oh, well. I don't know anything. No, she doesn't. This movie is starring Haley Stanfield. Yes. I know of real movies such as? She was on uh, the Pitch Perfect movies. I read. I don't remember her in that. I yeah, think she's on Pitch Perfect. Well, I more so remember her in Bumblebee. Oh yeah, she was actually on that too. I seen that too. Yes. It was like three things. I don't really think she was really. I don't think she was in. I she mean, she might have. She must have been one of the background, people. background characters. I don't in, uh, know. We just looked at Pitch Perfect recently. Do you but remember? I, Pitch I might have been Pitch Perfect too. Then I can't remember which one. Okay. Also starting this movie, we have Mr. Oscar Isaac. May know him for his movies such as. Uh, I can't remember his. He's been, he's been in a couple of movies, but yep. one movie which I. <sighs> Got a mixed feelings about. He was an X Men Apocalypse. Oh yeah, he was an X Men. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Also starting this movie, we have Dele. Dele. Who is? It? I don't know who it. Is. Daniel Kaluuya. <laughs> <laughs> Kaluuya. Yes. I know Kaluuya. I always do hear his name. But you might know him for his movies such as. He's in Get Out and Nope. Yes, he was in Get Out and Nope. Yes. Which we did a movie review on Nope. Yes, we did. We did. We did a review on Nope. So make sure y'all check, check that out. Check that out. Okay. Also starting this movie, we have Jake Johnson. I know him in previous movies such as? Um, he was in an underrated movie in... called Let's Be Cops. Oh, I was going to say he was also in, um, what's the movie they was playing the game? Tag. That's what it said. Okay, I think he was. He was in Tag, tag as well. Because I remember seeing that, but I have not seen Let's Be Cops. You have seen I Let's Be Cops. I don't remember that. It escaped in my mind. It has escaped. Okay. <laughs> my goodness. And last but not least... Also starting movie, we have Issa Rae. Yes. I know her from movies or shows such as. She's on Insecure. She's the writer and the, and also actress in Insecure. Yes. yes. Everybody mostly knows her from Insecure. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so let's go ahead and get into that plot. So, um, oh, the so this is kind of like the multiverse, but it's the Spider Verse, and things get messed up in the multiverse, like it does when you mess with time and space and all of those things, <laughs> and you start, you know, mixing and mingling folks from different timelines and different issues. I guess is what you call it. Yeah, I guess you could say yeah, that. Yeah. So, um, and Miles Morales has to, you know, save the day. Yes, um, as similar, if you've seen the first one, you know, it kind of picks up where, well, it actually picks up a year after the first one. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, one of the main components uh, behind the first one was the whole idea of the multiverse and them being multiple Spider-Mans. And, you know, after that whole experience, you know, Miles has grown up, you know, he's, and he's kind of created, you know, he's kind of grown up. He's stepping into he's his big Spider-Man draws, you know, yeah. put the big boy pants on. You know, and so he's, you know, he's dealing with that and he's trying to cope with, you know, missing his friends. You know, he made a lot of friends and, you know, people that understood who he was and, you know, he kind of feels by himself. So he's trying to figure out how he can continue growing and showing everyone who exactly who he is. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and get to our likes. I love the cinematography of this movie. Like, you cannot mention this movie without talking about the cinematography, the, sh the way they shot the scenes, the comic book feel that they give you when you're watching it. The, oh, wait, how you said comic book? 
Is that what you said? Comic yeah, book? like you see the okay. pixelated. Yeah, I think I didn't pixels. know you. I didn't know you said comic book. You kind of said I don't. Know. <laughs> the comic book. Gotcha. Feel. <laughs> yes, you can see the pixels. You can see the um, how it was drawn, and then they also put like they had like multi different versions of like drawings across over the years and how it has evolved into what it is now. I mean, it was just awesome. Like very much. Very creative, very, very creative. Yes, yeah, so there's a uh, tip-top animation. The way that they cho choose to draw the characters and how they so to accentuate the feelings that they have. And even when it comes to certain scenes, you know, scenes that were heavy, they drew those a certain way. And things that were happening in the background were even, were even you know, spilling out and showing emotions as well. And so from different scenes to the action, action scenes to those deep uh, scenes to, you know, like she said, you know, scene. having having the comic book effect to it. Like, you know, the cross between the comic book to the action to almost at points looking realistic, you know, or lifelike, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Like it was just an excellent way that they that they shot this. And, you know, they picked up where the first one left off and, and somehow was able to even elevate this. Yes, one. they did, absolutely. Um, any other likes? The plot, the plot was awesome. Um, I, the movie, it just seemed so, it was so much going on, but it wasn't like messy or sloppy. It was like yeah. it all flowed together. They took their time with the storyline. They took mm -hmm. their time building the, the new characters that were introduced. Mm -hmm. It was just like so magical. Yeah, I, um, again, not to sound redundant, but again, they kind of picked up where the first one left off. And I think that was that's what made the first one so awesome because as you're going through, I mean, the, I guess the surprise factor, it's the surprise factor mm -hmm. for me because like on the first one, when you found out certain things, especially if you stayed away from, you know, previews or whatever. I know for me as a viewer, I continue to be surprised with certain things and how they played out or whatever. And this movie does the exact same thing. Like they continue to have so many surprises and you're, you're, you're sucked in and you're looking at it and then all of a sudden, you kind of, it's, there's a spin and you're like, oh my gosh, and then there's something else happens. You're like, wait, what? And so the way that this movie continues to keep you on your toes, um, like people that are, uh, that's another thing, is this movie plays to everyone. I think that's what makes this movie so good. Like there's this thing called the four quadrants, so to speak, like when you have the movie and you want to, you want it to appeal to all the, this different demographic or whatever, and it's gonna appeal to those different, it's gonna apply to the, the comic book heads that love, 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 that dress up as Spider-Man, which some people were in the theater uh, like yeah. that. It's got do people that don't even have a, a lot of knowledge it when it comes to comic books. Mm -hmm. And it still appeal to them, you know what I'm saying? And then the life stories, you know what I'm saying? You can identify with the characters, you know, you can identify what Miles Morales, the main character that he goes through. And even um, uh, Spider-Gwen, you know what I'm saying? What she's going through and what her particular character goes through. Like you are, you are empathetic with what they go through and how they make you root for them and be touched by what those characters are going through yeah. is absolutely magnificent. Yeah. In other words? Yes, the diversity, inclusivity, um, and culture that this movie ha brings out. Of course, you know Miles Morales is his, his, from uh, Puerto Rican or Dominican descent. He's Puerto Rican. Uh, Puerto Rican descent. He's Puerto and, Rican, black and Puerto Rican. Yes, and they show like the, um, you know, they speak in Spanish with no subtitles. They, you know, the um, how they how they party, how they. How the lifestyle, how their family dynamic is, the different type of people that are uh, displayed in this movie from black, white, Hispanic, Indian, uh, Indian um, whatever, like everybody, they show a world of different people and uh, all coming together and it is so beautiful. And with, and with that, um, all those different people, the performances by each like like it's an all-star cast like we didn't yes. even get you know like we would have been we would have been 10 minutes would have been 10 15 minutes yeah. if we really would have said each Everybody. actor you know that they have because they got they got some heavy hitters in here but it, it's so many of them and all of them do and ex they do an excellent job mm -hmm. and, they, and their voice acting like they each one of them absolutely kills it like mm -hmm. they, they do an excellent job and so the Shout out to the, the, the caster, the casting director who, you know, casted all these different 
talent, you know, in these positions because they got the perfect people, you know, to play to play the part. Like it's just, I, I don't. It's <laughs> amazing. They're definitely, definitely amazing. Um, any other likes? Uh, I like how they um, tie this Spider Spider Verse movie into mm -hmm. other Spider Man movies. Mm -hmm. With, be it the animated or the non-animated movies, they all tie in together. They all show homage or whatever to each Spider-Man movie that has been created, and I love how they did that because it, it wasn't sloppy either. It was brought together beautifully. It was brought together um, harmon harmoniously, and I love that as well. Check out the big brain on Brad <laughs> harmoniously. Yeah, <laughs> she hit the nail on the head, though. That's definitely what they did. Um, they was able to, you know, pick up on the, the lore of Spider-Man because Spider-Man arguably is one of the most beloved characters in comic books, like, just yes. period. You know, I'm pretty sure he's top five if you if, if have a rating out there. Like, people love Spider-Man, and there's been different variations of that, and the way they're able to show the love for Spider-Man and the different Spider-Men and that have all become in the past oh, and at... That's what I was about to say. Oh, okay. And bring something new by adding something new when it comes to, you know, like Spider-Gwen and Spider-Woman and the the, dif the different characters. Like, it, it's just it's just really dope how they're able to tie everything in. Yes. Okay, uh, you got any dislikes? I'm pretty sure you do not. No, I do not. No, dis no dislikes at all. Mm -mm. All right, so I guess we're going to get into our favorite part of the show, the rating. I'm going to give this movie an A+. Plus. This movie is the best movie I've seen this year thus far. Also, like I was saying, like this movie is for old, young comic book fans. Girls, boys, anybody could relate to this movie. And I just think that it was just well, well, well done from the directors and the actors and actresses. And I just, oh, I want to see it again. It was so, so good. I'm gonna have to agree with her and give this movie an A plus. Um, I have to concur with everything that she just said, and uh, I think just I'll start off with saying I think this is the best movie that we have seen this uh, this whole year when it comes to the to the to the story to the, the plot to somehow still being able to surprise you with certain people that show up in the movie to you know actual things that you think the movie is going one way then they actually switch it up you know saying to pulling you into the story and having you root for these characters and you know you identify them with what it is that they're going through and the, the, the idea of what exactly family is and and what it is to be spider-man and that connecting thread and how somehow even throughout that connecting thread you still want to somehow make a way, you know, in your own life. And I think that's what a lot of us want to do in our own life. We want to somehow be successful and make our ways in our own life. And that that life lesson is something that I think a lot of people will be able to connect with. And one of the reasons why this movie is, I think, one of the best movies of the year. All right, so if you want to go ahead and do us a favor, hit that thumbs up button. We definitely appreciate it. And it helps out the channel. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, bruh. What are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We definitely appreciate it. And you can see more movies. Or movies. <laughs> more videos. Like, like this one. <laughs> and if you want to go do is another favor. If you want to go hit that button that shaped like a bell. You want to go ahead and do that. You'll get a notification. Every time we drop a new video. Every time we drop a new video. And if you want to go do us one more favor. If you want to go ahead and comment down below. And what should they comment? When was you first introduced to Spider-Man? Was it comic book? Was it movies? Was it... This new Miles Morales, when was you first introduced to Spider-Man? Good question. When were you first introduced to Spider-Man? Yes. All right, we appreciate every single one of you. And I guess what I'll let you. Peace.